My name's Yashara Acosta, and what I would tell a closeted SGA um, kid or adult is that you're okay. What I mean by that is one day, um, God had to literally tell me that I was okay. I didn't think I was. I thought there was something wrong with me. I thought I was disappointing my family, my religion, and God. Um, and I was so conflicted with that, and it was a very deep struggle. Words right now can't really describe that, but I remember one day just crying and God telling me something that I will never forget for the rest of my life. He said, did you think I didn't see this coming? Do you think I'm surprised by this? And it was just a shock, like I hadn't seen it coming, but God had. And it was this moment of clarity that he said, I know what's coming, I know your future, I know your past, I know everything that's going on with you right now. You're okay, I have you. So now let's work on things that are really toxic. Let's work on things that are actually hurting you. I was able to remove myself from toxic relationships and stop emotionally and mentally uh, abusing myself um, and let God use me. I was able to dismiss fears that I had because he was able to tell me that he needed me in a certain capacity and regardless of what I even thought. Um, and I was able to put aside cowardice and put aside fear and actually do things for him that I couldn't because my fear was holding me back. And I remember at one point hearing this song um, that most every SDA has ever heard in church when the role is called Up Yonder. Um, and I remember one day just really singing it with all my heart knowing that when the role really is called Up Yonder, I will be there. It's so easy to doubt your spirituality. It's so easy to um, listen to what other people have to say, their opinion of what God has for you, and be afraid that when you actually listen to God, it'll be the same thing. But from experience, I have heard so many different things that than I thought I would hear from God. He has said different things. The Holy Spirit has impressed on me different things than I thought he would, than other people were telling me, my family was telling me, my church was telling me. Um, and because of that, I would tell any young person just to continue to fight for yourself, fight for your soul. Don't let anybody tell you that God cannot use you or does not love you or does not want you in his kingdom um, and is not willing to work with you at your pace to do so. Um, just know that you're okay because he knew this was happening and he still made you and you're fearfully and wonderfully made.